Hello everyone. I am pleased to be at Alzheimer's Europe conference with my colleagues, Helena, Susan, Ashling from the Dementia Carers Campaign Network and Judy, the Advocacy Officer from the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland. My name is Paddy Crosby and I am delighted to introduce you to our presentation. The Dementia Carers Campaign Network, supported by the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland, is an advocacy group for those with experience of caring for a loved one with dementia. We aim to be a voice of and for dementia carers in Ireland and to raise awareness of the issues affecting families living with dementia. The group was formed in 2013 to facilitate the inclusion of dementia carers voices in policy affecting them and the people they care for. The DCCN is a voluntary group made up of more than 30 members from across the country. There is a core committee of eight to 10 carers who take responsibility for driving the network forward and the current chairperson is Helena Quaid. The group passionately believe that their voice is important and must be included in policy, public policy. Since the group was set up, the DCCN has lobbied government departments and senior officials on critical policy issues. We have participated in research programs on dementia and the needs of family carers. We have spoken at conferences and events across Ireland. We have collaborated on policy decision making. We have contributed to local and national media. We have actively participated in the monitoring and development of Ireland's first national dementia strategy. There are currently more than 64,000 people living with dementia in Ireland, including an estimation of more than 3,000 with young onset dementia. Approximately 180,000 people are caring for a family member or partner with dementia, with many more providing support and care in other ways. The Alzheimer's Society of Ireland is a national not-for-profit organisation that works across the country, providing dementia-specific services and supports. The ASI is committed to supporting the DCCN to raise awareness and campaign on the distinct needs of people who care for someone with dementia. The ASI also facilitates the Irish Dementia Working Group, an advocacy group of people living with dementia. Our successes. We have been included in critical policy consultations. We have raised awareness of issues affecting families living with dementia and the distinct needs of carers and supporters. We have made dementia carers visible through our media and awareness raising work. We are working towards eliminating the cultural stigma around dementia in Ireland. We have cared for our advocates by investing in wellness programs. We have used the arts as a communication tool to connect with a wider audience outside the dementia community. We were instrumental in obtaining the budget in 2020 for the recruitment of additional ASI dementia advisors. We quickly moved our advocacy work online during the pandemic. We have evolved focused campaign planning and development, both short and long term. Our mistakes and pitfalls. In the beginning, there was an absence of structure and governance for the group. There was an initial lack of procedure for ensuring advocate engagement. We failed to say no when appropriate. There was a lack of follow up on programmes that advocates participated in, and there was a lack of preparation before and during engagements. What have we learned from our mistakes and our pitfalls? We have learned plenty. We established structure, which has enhanced our governance and our policies. We now ask our stakeholders to fill in an engagement form, which clearly states the purpose of the engagement or activity, and also lists the supports to be made available to the advocates and to the group. 
we now prioritize our engagements that are specific and aligned with the aims of the group. We also request our stakeholders to give feedback on the events that our advocates have participated in. We introduced capacity building for our advocates, such as media training and resilience training. And the ASI have extended some in-house supports to our advocates. We aim to continue being a voice of and for dementia carers in Ireland and also to campaign for the issues about which we are passionate. We aim to maintain focused policy campaign work informed by our lived experience. We also aim to increase membership and include a focus on diversity and inclusion. And of course, we also reach out to our youth through education to eliminate the stigma around dementia in Ireland. And at this point, I would like to thank you on behalf of all of us and all our DCCM colleagues for joining in our presentation today. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.